Hello everyone, Coin Collector here, and today we're going to be doing another 10p hunt. I've got £100 worth of 10 pence coins in front of me here. Um, we're mainly looking for A to Z 10 pence coins. However, we often find Isle of Man coins or British Overseas Territories, and then occasionally a foreign coin, like last time we found a Swedish Krona, which is quite interesting. So let's get into this bag. As I said, it's £100. Got it from my local bank. And... Let's hope we actually find an A to Z this time. Right, I'm going to speed it up and then uh, obviously show you when I find something so you don't see all the boring normal coins. Thank you everybody for staying until the end. So as you can see, we had two finds of interest today. However, none of them were A to Z 10 pence coins again. So the, I think, sorry, the first one we found was the Falkland Islands, 10 pence uh, from 1998. Uh, those are obviously sea lions. There you go, on that side. And then Queen Elizabeth II. So an interesting find from the Falklands. But um, once again, not an A to Z. Then the other one is Gibraltar. So it's got the rock in the background, obviously famous from Gibraltar, and then the, it's about the area itself. Europort. So sorts of sort of look European, this coin, which is why it's got the stars around the edge. Um, try and blend in, I suppose. Gibraltar, 2001. So all interesting finds. However, none of them to the A to Z. So, so far I've found four non normal 10 pence coins uh, remember last time we found the Swedish Krona and the uh, the Isle of Man 10 pence coin 
and no A to Z. So in 200 pounds worth of 10 pence coins, you're more likely to find overseas territories of foreign coins than you are A to Z, apparently, which is interesting. So thank you very much for watching. Please like the video and leave any comments down below about your success rate at finding 10 pence coins.